guys. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of the living room and dining room um, tour. Now keep in mind, as I'm doing the tour, you're gonna see a glimpse of the kitchen. This is not a kitchen tour, cabinets and floors and things like that, and things are sitting around, all that stuff needs to be changed. Now, this is a living room and dining room tour. I was going with a more classy, elegant look for um, those rooms is what I was trying to go with. Now, the dining room has a little bit of farmhouse because my kitchen is farmhouse and they are connected. I decorated my home to my liking. And just like everyone else, I hope you decorate your home to your liking. So my home is not for everyone, but it's definitely for me and I love it. I feel so much peacefulness here and just comfort and I love my home so let's go ahead and jump into the living room and dining room tour as i'm doing the tour i'll tell you about the upcoming changes i'll be making and items i'll be purchasing this year let's go ahead and go okay you guys let's get started so as you enter into the home this is actually coming through the front door this is the first thing you will see you are greeted by my large stairway then you guys you are also greeted by this beautiful chandelier lighting it is so beautiful I picked out every chandelier for our home and my husband installed them. Now, if you go this way when you enter, you will enter into the living room area. If you go this way and look, this is what you will see. You're going to see my beautiful entry setup. So over here going against this wall right here, I have pictures of me and my husband, parents and grandparents over here just set up hung onto the wall. Also have a table, also with my parents' pictures on them and little knickknacks. Coming over here is my buffet table and I used it in my entryway because it actually fit perfect right here. And one day, I am hoping to get a longer table and maybe put a larger fish tank over here, but that will be in the deep, deep future. So over here we have our little signs that I put together where it just say welcome who will all enter, then it say our, our rules, remove your shoes, take a mask, wash your hands six feet apart, and then it just say thanks. Then down there it say welcome to our home where Black Lives Matters, no smoking. We have more artwork on the walls. Over here is some um books that we have right here we have the book glory It's such a beautiful book if you do not have this book i think i said it before it's definitely a book to have in your collection over here it's okay to be unapologetically you i love that sign right there then going across we have coming over here you guys we have just um some flowers display i have some books display I have my candles around my Buddha because I love the vibe and feeling it gives me. So that is my large Buddha. Going over, I have this little sign right here. And I made this sign. I just went on mixed tiles and I um, made a sign. Over here is more books and just more flowers display. Going up the stairs, and I'm not going to go all the way up the stairs, but going up the stairs right here is my... Um, family picture gallery wall. I made all these pictures with mixed tile and my plan is to actually have this entire wall, even going all the way up there under the window, covered with pictures of my family. Going up there is my um, wallpaper picture that I created and added the clock in the middle. And then coming back down, if we turn this way, that is coming through the door we have this picture right here this is a custom made picture i get um link, had got linked up with someone and i was looking to do a um, book cover for one of my books and i told him what picture i wanted and he actually created this picture for me he drew this picture um it looks like a mother over her child but really what it is is my older self over my younger self so my younger self if you can kind of look let me try to zoom in if you look at the shirt it says hurt and sad and disappointed and lonely but when you look up at the older um woman's shirt it says stronger classy independent and things like that so it's really supposed to be my um, older self looking over my younger self and I love it I love that I was so happy that 
I got this picture made. It cost me $150 to have this picture uh, made. Then I just have a little mirror here, hey guys. So then coming in this way, this is entering the living room. You see myself on TV decorating the buffet area you guys just looked at. So coming into the um, living room, you guys, this is everything that you will see coming into the living room. I have a very large living room, as you can see from distance. So let's start over here in this corner. Up here, I just did, I wanted to do a gold um, shelf with a lot of gold decorations. So that is what I did. So coming up here is some of the decorations. Um, I have that paper over that frame because that is my degree and it's personal information that I don't need people to see. So over in this corner, you will see a picture of me and my husband. Coming down here, I had this little thing since I was like about 18 of these little gold um, leaves and flowers coming out the little gold vase right here. This little metal piece, I love it. And then I have pictures of myself and my children and things like that, family members. And this is just a little bit of this shelf. That is me and my two daughters. That's my little baby boy over there. You might can't see it clear, but that is my husband with the boys. We have a sign that says Detroit because that is where I am from. I was born and raised in Detroit. So I will always, even though I don't live in Detroit any longer, I still will always represent Detroit because that is where I was born and raised. Over here is a picture that I made myself. I printed out some old Jet magazines, did them in black and white. Well, not just Jet, but different uh, magazines that was for um, the black community. And I just printed them out and put them in this gold frame. Over here, you have this little hanging. This is really a fruit basket, but I wanted to be creative. So I had my husband hang it right here in the ceiling and added some glass, all this in here is glass, and added some glass vases to it. Let's try to zoom in a little bit more and put little items in it. And I just thought it brought a little unique touch to the, um, you know, to the living room. Over there, you can kind of get a glimpse of my curtains. My curtains is a blue and a gold. I don't know if it's in the royal blue or the navy blue family. It depends on how it's coming off camera to you. Coming down here, that is my lamp. I love my lamp. I got my lamp from the at-home store. I also have, hey, also have this large mirror right here. It's trimmed in gold framing. And I really love this sitting right here because it's just like a, it just, it's like really a statement piece, this large mirror. Coming over here on this table, I have a little, um, a little bit of African, um, what is it, figurines or statues. So I have these sitting over here. And I love, 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 love them. I have a little flower sitting on a gold stand. And then I have some books over here. And then a picture of myself in that little clam frame. So we're going to step back. I just showed you that area as you're coming in. Now we're going to go over here to behind the um, sofa. This is a sofa table that is actually sitting behind a sofa. And that is the detail of the um, table. It is very beautiful. Very beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Just very, very beautiful. And I love it. So coming up, what I have sitting on this table, I have two gold vases. And these vases were actually purple and I spray painted them gold. And then I have these little gold flowers and sticks in them. I have my little horse right here that I do love. And then this right here is a very unique piece, which is this little frog holding up this glass. This is very heavy, thick glass, and it has these little deck and sail balls in it with birds. I have my two little angels sitting right here on just two books that's really for decoration. And what I liked about these books, I love the blue and the green of the book. But then I also love the color of the wording of the books. I thought it was so um, cute. And I got those books for free and just was like, okay, I'll decorate. Here is a unique piece that everyone asks me about. So that is coming through the door over there. And if you came right here, this is what you will see. This is a bite table. Everyone asks me about this bite table. I ordered it a long time ago, offline. 
and I had it ever since. And there is no way for me to pull this up, but everyone always say, where did you get that bike table from? It's so unique, so cool. On this table, I have me and my husband's um, wedding picture. Um, I have this large giraffe. I had this giraffe for about maybe 15 years now. I had this giraffe for a very long time. I got this like oh, years, years, years ago. But I have this giraffe. Um, over here, I have some picture of like some giraffe and elephants and um, a picture of this lady. Over here, I have the chandelier lighting. I don't have a light in it yet. So let me tell you guys the secret. You see the plug and we're gonna actually, this is not exactly where I want to sit. So we're gonna actually have it move farther back to the corner. And that way these plugs can fall into the corner like this and I can nail them or whatever I need to do to have it in the corner like this where it's not hanging, you know, all in front of these pictures right here. And then we're gonna use one of those lights where you don't have to use a plug to light this little area up. Coming down um, right there is just um, another picture of me and my husband with them, you know, throughout the years, as you can see. So let's say 2007, 17, 14, 16, things like that. A candle and then like a table tray in the back, I'm using just as a decoration of a pop of pink back there. I really liked how it looked. So that is that table. Okay, coming over here, I'm, I have a fish tank, but I'm not going to really put the camera on the fish tank because the fish tank is dirty and I don't want to really put that on camera. But coming right here, you guys, these beautiful curtains right here is the curtains. This door right here leads to my basement. And instead of a door, I just added these curtains. I just thought it was so pretty and I love the, how these curtains look, especially when you first enter into the home. So that's why these curtains is here. Once again, I said I had a fish tank. So right here, this is the top of the fish tank. I'm not gonna show the bottom of the fish tank, even though I do have fish in and everything, but the fish tank needs cleaning. So when you come up here, I have this beautiful picture right here. And what's so cool, look, you see her dress? This picture has where you can actually feel the material, the material of the um, dress. It is so beautiful. When I seen this picture, it was a must have. I love it. So coming across the living room doorway that goes from the living room to the dining room, I have these beautiful curtains. On this side is blue and on the other side is green. You're gonna see my ring light, excuse that, but I have to light it up somehow some way in here. But it is so beautiful, you guys, okay? So coming back around again, now you can see far how all this is looking. So let's get the top of this. So at the top of this, I have my beautiful animal heads, my giraffe and all that, and my elephant and stuff is up there. I love, love, love my animal heads. They are very large. They might look smaller on camera. I'm trying to blow them up. They are very large and very heavy. And I love them. And I plan on getting two more. I know one will be a bear and then I'm deciding on the next one I would like to get, but I know for a fact one will be a bear and I will be adding two more up there. So that's something that I will also will be purchasing this upcoming year. Okay, coming back down, I'm gonna step back so you can get the full view of what I already showed you. Now over here, sitting across here, and this is my um, blue sofa. I love the details on my sofa. It has the mirror um, legs. And then I love the little nail heads that goes around the whole sofa and even on the arms. And I love the color of the pillows, how you can match match, you know, like if I want to do all blue or all silver, I love that. And behind that sofa is that sofa table I was just showing you guys sits behind this sofa. Coming around here, you get a good view of my curtains. And then over here, we're gonna do a blow up. You get my beautiful chandelier lighting and you get my beautiful artwork right there. Now that picture I made, it's a stay weird and inspire. And I made it and you can tell by the, um, look at the backing of that paper. That is like a wallpaper. And you're gonna see the same wallpaper over on that fireplace um, floor. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it, you guys. Then come down, it is my sofa, you guys. I have a large sectional 
and I love it. I have many pillows on my sectional. I'm looking to get many more. Some people come in and say you have too many pillows, but I love it. And we really don't sit on the sectional because we are sitting over here on this sofa. So I really, really love, love my sectional area. I just threw these um, throws on there just to make it feel more cozier. So I threw some throws on there. And if you haven't noticed, my accent colors are pink and they are like the blue and things like that. On this table, I have it decorated with my beautiful um, African um, statue head. And then I have some little candles. That little piece right there with the little olive elephants. My son got me that for my birthday, I believe last year or a year before. Then coming around, and excuse them little plugs that you see right there. Then coming around, I have my little um, pigs. I don't know, for some reason, it seems like I'm just loving pigs. Coming up there on that side of the fireplace, it's a welcome sign with a plant. And you still see my Christmas lights up there. I have to move those, remove those strings of Christmas lights. And then you see those little silver uh, flowers. I don't know if you can see them behind like the chandelier lighting that's kind of covering them up. Okay, you can see in the chandelier lighting is kind of covering them up. Then I have my TV. This is like an 80-inch TV. It might look smaller on camera, but it is definitely an 80-inch. And that is me that you see on the TV. Coming across and coming down my fireplace. This is what I did. And I'm going to see if I can find a video when I was doing this, um, when I was doing this um, fireplace. I decided to paint the fireplace um, blue. Then coming across the fireplace, I have my beautiful vases. I got those vases from, I want to say Wayfair, but I can't remember, but I believe it was. And then the other vases where you see of the um, woman, that those came from um, Amazon. And then the little candle holders that's inside those vases, my husband got me for my um, birthday and I added them in there. And then those two little plants that you see, the one that say home and love, I got that from Family Dollar. And those are those also can hang onto your fridge if you wanted them to. They have magnets in the back. And then over here is my beautiful um, lady statues. I just love them. They are so beautiful. Look at that. Over here, this is something that stays around all year. I made this, I told you guys before. And this is of this tree. These are real tree branches. My husband cut a tree down in our backyard and I took these branches and I decided to make me a tree in my home. And that is what I did and I love it. I love it. I love it, you guys. It is so beautiful and it really is not doing any justice on camera, but it's so beautiful in person. Again, I have a chandelier um, lighting over here that I have to still put a light in. And then this is my large mirror. Hey guys, this is my large mirror right here. And then coming over here, I have these beautiful little um, mirrors that's going all the way down. As you can see, if you even come on the side of the shelf, you can see. And over here is a little bar cart, but I'm not using it for that because I already have a wine rack and things in my dining room. So I just kept it very simple and kept this look and put this little vase on here with these little sticks. I don't know what they're called, little decorative stick balls. I don't know. Have my candle going on there. There's some decoration down there at the bottom. Okay. Once again, coming across, those are those curtains that I like so much. Once again, don't pay any of mine to the kitchen that you may see. Switching out the rugs. So let's go back and show you that this looks so much better to me. This black rug down here, look at that so much better it's just so cozy oh i didn't even show you guys or here on the side of the fish tank i have this little um leather chair so this is how that area is looking very relaxing you guys i love 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 my space okay let's enter into the dining room again excuse the ring lighting but my home is dark and i have to have it on to show you guys the video but I might try to turn it off because it seemed like it's just hitting the camera in a bad way. So let's turn this light off. Let's walk over here and turn the light off before we do. Because it just seemed like it's hitting the camera in a bad way. But now it's dark, but we're going to make it work, right? Okay. 
when you come into the dining room over there where you see the deep freezer that's going into the kitchen so pay no mind in the dining room let's blow it up a little bit this is how the dining room looks when you enter those two farmhouse doors is actually custom doors my husband made i'm talking about every little like the little x's that you see on there as far as the sign wood my husband made these doors and built these doors and put all this together yes we called someone about doors and the price was ridiculous to get doors because this was a very large um doorway and i wanted farmhouse and it was ridiculous the price they was charging so my husband actually made these doors i mean like from every little design arch cut he made them they are beautiful so in here as you know you seen i switched the rugs and put these rugs in here and i kind of like how this looks so much better i have my seating um only thing i will be changing out is the two green chairs they actually are really not good chairs and those two will teal chairs i'm gonna um actually throw out and we're gonna either get two more of these on each side but i'm gonna go with a different color to kind of just you know bring something different into the dining room but i haven't decided but i'm thinking about getting four more of these particular farmhouse style looking chairs and put two on where those, that green chair is and then two where that green chair is but i'll do a um a um clip to show you the um different color i'm going with so over here if you turn this way is my china cabinet um, in a china cabinet, just like most people, I have a lot of knickknacks and cups and, you know, just, you know, china and things like that. I threw a couple of cards in there because they were kind of special um, to me and I wanted to keep them. That picture down there in the corner is a picture of me and my husband. That was our first Christmas together, so I always thought that picture was important. Coming up here on top of the china cabinet, I have some beautiful um art pictures and then i have some beautiful purple vases and some beautiful blue vases sitting up there um try to zoom in so you guys can see okay that is that coming over on this side i have my little display of my large spoon and my knife and my fork i had nowhere else to hang these so i said hey let me just put them somewhere so that is how that is working now over here you see my computer now you have to excuse this because i'm going to have to get a um, new computer desk i ordered one and my computer desk actually will be sitting up here i don't want it in the dining room but like i told you guys i'll be working home from home full time now so i want to be you know i don't want to be set up like in a back area i want to kind of be out if i'm gonna be at the computer for eight to ten hours so it will be set up in my um dining room but it'll look much neater and much better once i get my new computer desk over there and get my new computer chair over there but my computer will be set up over there now what you see right here will not be here to stay because like you see i have um some pops and waters and stuff at the bottom now over here will be will be a display of my um cake um dishes and things like that and like my drink dispensers and so like what you see at the first two shelves will it will be like that but like going down from the second two shelves all that stuff would eventually be moved and it will come over here now what you see right here like i said excuse the kitchen what you see over here this um gray shelf right here and you see this stuff oh, i cannot wait i cannot wait for this to be gone my husband is going to do a custom built-in pantry and if you look at the top and see where that picture is it's going to go all the way from the top of the ceiling and come all the way down it's going to be a very large built-in pantry area it's going to be really nice and it's going to have the farmhouse doors sliding doors as well to match the doors that's over there and then i'll be able to get all the all the stuff that's sitting out like the cereal and stuff there into that pantry area so that would definitely be um nice and then also like all the stuff that's sitting on that shelf um over there in that corner right there next to the deep freezer you see my wine rack i'll try to blow up so you can get a closer view of it so i have my wine rack over there and then over here is my beautiful farmhouse lighting like i said before i chose all the chandeliers at my home and my husband installed them and i love this is beautiful this is one of my favorites this is the first chandelier i bought for this home I, it was just like i got to have it in my dining room i got to have it i loved it i love the color of it i don't know i just loved it and i think it goes so well 
with these farmhouse looking chairs. This is my table. I've tried so many times to get rid of this table, but I always keep this table, even though it's um, got some scratches on it. I keep this table because of the large size of it. This is a very large size table, and I definitely want a large size table. In the middle of the table, I, um, you guys, if you haven't seen my video, I did these, these flower arrangements, um, as far as my Christmas setup. And I told you I wanted something that I can have sitting around all year round. So that's why I chose these colors. I thought they were so pretty. Look at that. Look at the colors. And I just thought they were so pretty. Let's cut some light on, on these flowers so you guys can really see because I just thought it was so pretty. Look at that. Look at those flowers. And then we have a little candy jar right there that is not going to stay on the table. That will be moved, but yes, I love it. So this is the setup of the dining room, you guys. I have some little wine artwork at the top. Oh, let me show you guys this picture over here. Then over here in the dining room, we have this large picture right here. Of um, It's like a jazz picture. And I love it. I just love it. It's very large. It might come off smaller on camera, but it is very large. So this is the dining room area. You guys, I love that. Look at that. I just love how that rug look. I love those chairs. I just love everything. And then coming back this way, there's how those curtains are set up. When I was telling you, I have green on this side and I just like that and I just like how they drape down isn't that so beautiful and then over here in the fireplace I don't know if I showed you guys I have those little candles over in the fireplace and I just thought that was kind of different and then I have those little jewels hanging from the fireplace I just want to do something different so once again this is my living room setup. And I love it, you guys. I love everything. So that was really um, all the changes that I told you guys I was going to be making. In front of that blue sofa, it will be a large ottoman right there. We're going to get a blue velvet ottoman to go in front of that sofa right there to kick your feet up when you're watching TV. But other than that, there really won't be any more changes. This chair will change out. We had, I ordered some chairs. I sent them back. They still did not go well i cannot find the right chairs for this space you guys but anywho all that is going to be in this upcoming year of changes but the number one changes um is room and it's going to be this pantry area and that's going to be a big change because my husband is going to take time and actually build this pantry area and i just cannot wait and i it's going to look so nice and that way you don't have to see all this extra stuff sitting out because i hate how this stuff looks but other than that and once I get the computer that's over there, then that area will look better too because I don't like how that look, but it is what it is for right now. This is everything. Thanks for watching, you guys. Leave your comments in the um, comment section. Make sure you like the video and make sure you are subscribed to my channel to see all my upcoming projects, you guys. I don't want you guys to miss out on anything because there's going to be some good projects. And I just love this. And then something else too, you guys, let me show you about this area. You see that table right there? That table was actually supposed to go behind this sofa right here. It didn't fit. It was too wide. So what I'm going to have my husband do is do a building across this window, like a little building window shelf. And I'm going to do like two to three large plants in this window. But I'm going to do that closer to coming up springtime. And sometimes I do have my curtains open, um, tied open. And... Yeah, you guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next.